We're on the southwest tip of, of Greenland in a town called Kakaktok. The unique thing about West Greenland is that the salmon up here come from all across North America and the southern range in Europe to feed on the productive waters here. It's really majestic here. It's uh, quite pristine. You'll see often icebergs floating by. Some of it would remind you of uh, northern Labrador. The other day we saw an Arctic fox, which is quite, uh, quite amazing. ASF is targeting Atlantic salmon uh, maiden and repeat spawners that come to West Greenland every end of summer and early fall every year. For me, I think it's just incredible to catch the salmon at sea. They, they're so healthy and full of life and, and beautiful colors. We've just put the fish in clove oil. You can buy it over the counter. It's for numbing your gums if you have a toothache, but it works really well for putting fish to sleep. So it's an anesthesia, so we put just enough in there to, to put the fish to sleep so it's not jumping around on us, it's relaxed during surgery. We take sea lice samples off of it. We also take scale samples. Scales grow like tree rings. By looking at them under the microscope, you can tell their life history, such as how many years they spent in the river, how long they spent at sea, and how many times they've spawned. We also take a little fin clip, which is used for genetic testing to determine region of origin. Yeah, so we put a tube in its mouth so that it's got water going through during the time of surgery. And we're putting acoustic tags and satellite tags on the fish and hoping to track their migrations back to North America and Europe. It's just really rewarding when, when they come back after surgery and they're, they're full of life and we release them into the ocean and they swim right away. When we put this data all together, we'll be able to, to try and pinpoint or at least get some ideas on where the mortality is occurring. And that will really drive our programs in fresh water at home. And is there anything that we can tease out of the data to see if there's any silver bullet, such as are there any fish being taken in as bycatch and, and trawlers, for instance? This is um, the first step to answering a very important question, which is why salmon are not coming back.